Hi friends, my name is Pratik Suraswa and our today's topic is permutation and combination. Permutation and combination is a very important topic as well as it's very confusing. So let's understand what is permutation and combination here and what is the difference, how will you identify the questions and then we will start with the problems. So permutation is nothing but arrangement. See whenever in question, if it is asked in how many ways letters of the word any word can be arranged so whenever arrangement is coming in the question that is nothing but your permutation and in how many ways a committee of two men and three men can be selected from five men and four women so whenever selection is coming in the question that is nothing but combination so this is one of the way to identify the questions of permutation and combination but the major difference in permutation and combination is permutation means order is important and combination means order is not important. So let's understand how the order is important and where the order is not important in the combinations. So we have one example, how many words can be formed using the letters of the word Monday. So this is one of our word Monday. So here order is important. See, we can form a word M, N, D, A, Y, O. So here order is important. Order is important means if you are changing the order of O, you will get a different word. Same thing if you are changing a order of M and N, you will get a different word. Here order is important. So in this kind of questions, we use permutation where order is important. And this is the main difference. See if in the question, if they are asking in how many ways letters of the father, father can be arranged, and in how many ways this can be selected still this both the questions can create the confusion again if it is a permutation or combination but if this difference we are clear with like permutation order is important and combination order is not important then there is no confusion in permutation and combination so very clearly we are seeing here in the word Monday if we are changing any letter then the meaning of the word itself is changing. So that means order is very important here and this is a question of permutation. Okay. Now the next question is find the number of ways in which a committee consisting of three men and two women can be formed from five men and four women. See here it is very difficult to decide if it is a permutation and combination permutation question or if it is a combination question. So this questions how will you decide is the number of ways in which a committee consisting of three men and two women can be formed. See here order is not important. We have five men and we have four women, right? So I can take any three women from here. Sorry, I can take any two women from here and I can take any three men from here. Here order is not important. So when order is not important, then it is combination. Please keep this in mind because this is a very important factor to identify if it is a question of permutation or a question of combination. So we saw the example one. In example one, order is very important because when we are changing the letters of the word, then the word itself is changing, the meaning of the word itself is changing. But in the second example, either you select two men or three men in any order. See, out of five men, I can select any three men. I do not have to select man in order. I can select any man. I can select this man first, this man first or the third man first. I can select the third man first, second man first or the first man first. The only condition we have is we should be able to select or we have to select three men out of five and we have to select two women out of four. That can be in any order. The order is not important for us and when the order is not important for us, then it is a question of combination. So if I have to solve the first question, then my answer will be 5p5 or we say 5 factorial. There will be 120 words. This I will explain you in questions. I am just writing down here. So 5p5 is equal to 5 factorial which is nothing but 120. So there will be 120 words formed by Monday. And in for this question, the answer will be out of 5 men, I have to select order is not important. So combination. So 3 men means 5c3 and 2 women means 4c2 and our answer will be 5c2 into 4c2. We will move, move to the question number 1. So question number 1 is how many 3 digit numbers can be formed from the digit 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 and 9 which are divisible by 5 and none of the digit is repeated. Okay. So we have to find 3 digits number. 
so three digit numbers means we will make a box of three digits right so first digit second digit and third digit number and that number should be divisible by 5 if any number is divisible by 5 then the number should end with either 0 or 5 so in the given question we do not have 0 here so we have only 5 so if I want a three digit number which is ending with 5 then the last digit should end with 5 so in how many ways I can put 5 here I have only one way in which I can put 5 here right okay so once we'll use 5 here 5 we cannot use it here why I cannot use 5 here because digits are not repeated we cannot get a number 5 to 5 see although 5 to 5 is divisible by 5 but still I cannot have this number why I cannot have this number because digits are not repeated so I cannot use 5 here so once I'll use 5 how many numbers we are left with 1 2 3 4 5 so in how many ways this can be filled so this can be filled in 5 ways right so whatever you will use here suppose out of 2 3 6 7 9 if I am using 9 here then 9 I cannot use here because the repetition of the digit is not allowed so whatever digits I will use here the same I cannot use here so if I am using one digit here the same I cannot use here so how many options will I have left I will have four options left so how many numbers I can find it out which is divisible by 5 and a three digit number which is nothing but 20 okay so in this case repetition was not allowed so how many numbers I can found I can find 20 numbers even I can see the numbers also see there will be number 235 so this is divisible by divisible by 5 and we can see here this number is divisible by 5 and all three numbers are distinct I mean numbers are not repeated okay next number will be 265 275 and then 295 okay then we can start with 3 325 365 375 and 395 then we can start with 6 625 635 635 then 665 and then sorry 665 will not be there because here digits are repeated so 675 and then 695 okay if you start with 7 then 725, 735, 765 and 795. If you start with 9, then 925, 935, 965 and 975. So I have these 20 numbers which I can form it when the numbers are divisible by 5 and the numbers are not repeated. For the same question, if repetition of the digit is allowed. So if the repetition of digit is allowed, then we can have a number like 525, 555, right? We have a three digit number, which is divisible by five and repetition of the digit is allowed. Means we can have the same number here, 555, 525. So for that, we'll make a three digit box where I can place three digit. Okay. Now the number should be divisible by five. So if a three digit number is divisible by five only when if the last digit is five or zero. So in the given question or in the given data we do not have zero. So these places can be filled by only one option. Here I can fill only by five. Okay. And then here how many options we'll have? See I have six digit two, three, five, six, seven, and nine. So out of six six digit I can place all the six digit here. Why? Because here repetition of the digit is allowed i can have a number triple five i can have a number five to five i can have a number two to five so these places can be filled by six these places also can be filled by six because repetition of the digit is allowed i can have a number three three five right so how many three digit numbers we can form which is divisible by five and the repetition of the digit is allowed is 36 so we can form 36 numbers next question 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मेनी थ्री डिजिट नंबर कैन बी फॉर्म फ्रॉम द डिजिट टू थ्री फाइव सिक्स सेवन नाइन जीरो विच आर डिविजिबल वाई फाइव विच इट इज रिपीटेड ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन और इफ यू कम्पेयर दिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज समॉट सिमिलर द ओनली डिफरेंस इज हियर वी हैव वन एक्स्ट्रा डिजिट देर वी हैव टू थ्री फाइव सिक्स सेवन नाइन एंड हियर वी हैव वन मोर विच इज जीरो नाउ वी हैव टू मेक थ्री डिजिट नंबर विच इज डिविजिबल वाई फाइव एंड डिजिट्स आर नॉट रिपीटेड सो अगेन वी विल मेक ए थ्री डिजिट बॉक्स ओके नाउ दिस प्लेस इज इन हाउ मेनी वेज आई कैन फील सी इफ ए नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाई फाइव इफ ए नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाई फाइव देन द लास्ट डिजिट शुड बी जीरो और फाइव सो वी कैन प्लेस हियर जीरो और फाइव दैट मीन्स इन टू वेज आई कैन फील बट वॉट वी हैव टू टेक केयर इज हियर इज सी सपोज इफ लास्ट डिजिट यू आर फीलिंग एज फाइव राइट then how many options will have see if you'll fill 5 then we'll have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so if you are taking six option here this is one way and the first place can be filled in six ways right so if you are filling in six ways then zero is also one of the digits so if first place if you are putting zero then what will happen zero and second second place two so we'll have a number 0 2 5 so 025 is not a three digit number so when you are solving this questions we have to be little bit careful so how will we solve this questions we will take two scenario or we'll take two case see in one case when 5 is at the end so 5 is at the end in how many ways we can place this that is only one way okay now how many options we'll have see we had 2 3 5 6 7 9 and 0 so here we placed 5 and repetition of the digit is not allowed so 5 will not be a option which we can fill at the first place now how many options will have 2 3 6 7 9 5 options zero we cannot fill at the first place because if we fill zero at the first place then this number will not be a three digit number this number will become a three digit a two digit number so how many options will have will left will have five options Uh, yes and now suppose two you fill at the first places then how many options you have left 1 2 3 4 and 5 because i can fill zero here my first number can be 2 second number can be 0 and third number can be 5 so i can have a number 205 that is 205 in second case what i will do i will take zero at the end so in how many ways i can place zero at the end there is only one way right now how many options will have left see the numbers are 2 3 5 6 7 9 and 0 see if you are placing 0 at the end then how many options will have left six options so this i can fill in six ways now how many options will have here see whichever number you have used at the first place the same i will not be using here so how many options will have i'll have five options now what will be the total numbers which can be formed so how many three digit numbers we can form which is divisible by 5 and none of the digit is repeated is 5 into 5 into 1 5 into 5 into 1 which is nothing but 25 and here 6 into 5 into 1 which is nothing but 30 so total will be 25 plus 30 so i can form 55 numbers which is divisible by 5 and digits are not repeated and digits not repeated next question see find the total numbers that can be made using the letters 0 2 4 3 5 which are greater than 6000 so if you want a number which is greater than 6000 then we cannot form a three digit four digit two digit number from this right see the maximum four digit numbers we can frame from here is 5 4 3 2 so we cannot frame any one digit number two digit number three digit number and four digit number which will be greater than 6000 we have to form only five digit number which will be greater than 6000 right okay so how will we form here so again five box right you want a number greater than 6000 right <clears throat> okay so 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so now first places see here we do not have like uh, form a number which is divisible by any number so we don't have to look at the last place first right now we need a number which is greater than 
we need a number which is greater than 6000 so that we know that will be the five digit number which will be that will be five digit number which will be greater than 6000 right okay so first place is how many options i have the first place is either i can fill two four three and five see first place is we cannot fill zero here because first place is if you'll fill zero here then again it will become a four digit number so first place how many options we have first place we have four options right okay and here here also digits are not repeated right so whichever options suppose two you are filling here then we won't be able to use the same option so after that how many options will be left one two three four because i can place zero here if i place zero here it will be still a five digit number so how many options here four options then now one option will reduce suppose i use zero then how many options are there three options then how many options i have left two options then how many options i have left one option so what is the total number 4 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is nothing but 4 into 4 is 16 48 into 2 is equal to 96 so what will be our answer our answer will be 96.